Faithful Catholics may ask, how often should I receive communion or go to confession? Don Bosco will give definitive answers to these questions in today's video. Every word of it is taken from his good night talks when he would instruct his oratory boys on matters of the faith. The Miracles and Prophecies of St. John Bosco, a project of America Needs Fatima. I'm your host, Matthew Miller. Subscribe for new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In this Good Night Talk on All Souls Day, Don Bosco presented the three fundamental principles of his educational system, avoidance of sin, frequent confession, and frequent Holy Communion. It's a delight to observe the calm simplicity and the commanding language with which he stated his long-held views on the frequent reception of Holy Communion, a topic that was hotly debated in his day. Seeing that he formed saints like Dominic Savio and saw Our Lord and Our Lady frequently in visions, I trust his advice completely. He was talking about their need to study hard, as it was a school after all. He said, True wisdom comes only from God. Keeping busy and making good use of time would be of no avail if you're burdened with sin. Since the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, we must put our consciences in order. In the study hall, there used to be a poster with this inscription from the Book of Wisdom. Wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul, nor dwell in a body subject to sins. I don't know if it's still there. If it's not, I'll ask Father Durando to put another one up. Here I feel the need to repeat the advice I customarily give at the beginning of the year, frequent confession and frequent Holy Communion. As to the frequency of confession, I make no rules. Now, the Fathers of the Church suggest once a week, or every two weeks, or once a month. St. Ambrose and St. Augustine agree on once a week. I leave it up to you. Go to confession whenever your conscience bothers you. Some of you may go a week or 10 days without committing a sin. Others may go 15 and even 20 days. However, still others may fall into sin within three or four days. Naturally, these boys should go to confession more frequently unless their sins are slight. The Catechism teaches us to go to confession once a month or every two weeks. St. Philip Neri taught and recommended weekly confession. Such was also the practice of St. Aloysius. I suggest this. If you care but little for your soul, go once a month. If you want to save your soul but are not too eager about it, go every other week. If you want to aim at perfection, go every week. Do not go more often unless your conscience bothers you. As to the frequency of receiving communion, I likewise do not wish to set rules. Instead, I'll tell you a short story. There was a man who usually went to St. Vincent de Paul for confession, but became dissatisfied with him because he insisted that the man should go to communion several times a week. Tired of hearing this, the man decided to go to another priest. He found one and told him, I want you to know that I used to go to Father Vincent, but since he always ordered me to receive communion nearly every day, I left him and came to seek your advice. Perhaps unaware of the harm he was doing, the priest replied, You're right, my son. Why go so often to communion? Once a week will be enough. Some time later, he even counseled his penitent to go every other week in order to better prepare himself. Finally, continuing in this false spiritual direction, the priest told the man to receive only once a month. I don't know the reasons for this advice. Perhaps the man kept committing the same sins, or the priest thought that he wasn't making any spiritual progress. The poor fellow followed his confessor's advice. And what happened? Within a short time, he discontinued going to communion altogether and only went to confession. Then he began to go to theaters, parties, dances, and other amusements. And soon enough, he stopped going to confession and gave himself up to unbridled living. After a while, though, feeling rather miserable and remorseful, he went back to St. Vincent and said, I'm in very bad trouble, Father Vincent. Why did you not come to see me anymore, my son? The saint asked. I became tired of frequent communion, so I changed confessors. But I see that in abandoning communion, I also gave up piety, became worse, and ended by abandoning confession. From now on, I want to follow your advice and receive Holy Communion often. He then made a good confession 
and again began leading a good life. Gradually, he received communion more frequently and once again became the pious man he had formerly been. I recommend the same to you. Everyone needs Holy Communion. Those who are good need it in order to remain good, and those who are bad need it in order to become good. In this way, you will acquire that true wisdom which comes from the Lord. Therefore, I repeat, avoid idleness and sin, and go frequently to confession and communion. There he finished, but I would also like to add some notes on frequent communion from another good night talk, which raises the question of whether some people are in the spiritual condition to receive daily, because one has to be free from mortal sin. Don Bosco said, I again strongly ask that each one keep his conscience free of sin so as to be able to receive communion daily. However, as regards frequent reception of the Eucharist, each of you should consult his confessor and do as he says. But the thing that you must never forget is to keep your conscience always in such condition that you may receive communion daily. Now I must mention something which has repeatedly been pointed out to you. Often you so crowd into the sacristy that one can hardly get through. Some are there not to go to confession, but only to get warm. There is nothing wrong with that if you're freezing, but honestly, such is not the case. I wouldn't blame you if you were that cold in church, but that's not true, so I can't praise you for skipping morning prayers. If someone really feels he's freezing, let him tell me or Father Kiala and he'll be given a portable stove. All jokes aside, I must say that this is no laughing matter. For some time now, many boys, mostly older fellows, would like to make their confession to me, but finding the sacristy jammed, they walk away, hoping for better luck the next day, or they settle for another confessor. Let us therefore set some norms to ease matters for these boys and make confession more helpful to your souls. First, don't go to confession more often than once a week. Some, especially the younger ones, would want to go to confession every day. But do as I say, and everyone will have his chance. However, go to confession at least once a month. Generally, every 10 or 12 days, or every two weeks is a good rule. Many say, we like to go every week. Well, that's quite all right. Others may remark, I want to receive communion frequently, but a few days after confession, I'm no better than before, and I don't dare receive without going to confession again. I say, if you cannot keep your conscience clear for a week, then it's better not to go to communion so often. But I want to do better, you may say. If I could go to confession more often, I could more easily succeed. Not really, I reply. Instead of going to confession two or three times a week, make a firmer resolution. And you'll find that this is far more effective than going to confession more often with but little sorrow and without determination to amend your ways. This is why your confessor himself has told you to go to confession less frequently. Prepare yourself better to receive this sacrament properly. There's only one case when I think one should go to confession more often than once a week, and that's when the confessor himself, after carefully considering one's spiritual condition, says, come to confession every time you fall into this or that sin, so as to overcome your habit or evil passion. When a confessor gives this specific advice for a particular reason, the penitent will doubtless benefit, but apart from this, go regularly every week or every 10 to 15 days. Then, with your confessor's permission, you may very often go to Holy Communion. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you'd like to hear more episodes where Don Bosco explains matters of the faith, just click on the playlist above me here. God bless you, and Our Lady keep you.